Shalom, Rain of Corns. It's Ellie here. Making sure my, I think my, make sure my phone's on silent. There we go. All right, you guys. Okay. So, hey, hey, get out the water. Don't play in that. That's dirty. Um, I have not talked about religious type of things in a while because I just kind of felt like um, people got the point. People got my perspective. People understood. But I still have to address this. Um, and I re- stop playing in the gosh darn water. Okay. So I feel very strongly about this because I know a lot of people are being deceived. I know a lot of people. Um, Carnelian God 444 says, peace, fellow Capricorn, peace. Um, a lot of people are being led astray. A lot of people are just being yanked honestly because what's happening is people's livelihoods are being disrupted in such a way that is i mean it's more than just mentally um disruptive it is spiritually disruptive churches are evil but hell not real hey i gotta say that hey alondria hey alondria okay look i might say some sensitive things in this video i love you so much so if i hurt your feelings or you know if, uh, if anybody in the family watches this and their feelings get hurt, I do apologize. But I got to talk about churches in this video. I love you so much, though. Um, so. All right. I'm going to just I'm going to just start with the receipts first before I even start saying anything, because I want to be as emotionless as possible in the beginning of this video. Um, where my screenshots at? Okay, there they go. So first, I just want to um, give credit to uh, Blackmail Advice TV, aka Ringo. Uh, this was yes, it's getting windy. It'd be like that sometimes. Uh, he did this video the other day talking about churches requiring members to be fascinated to come to Jesus, and he uses the word fascinated as a cover word for the V word for the jab, and so y'all churches requiring members to be fascinated to come to jesus i'm sorry for the train in the back why why in the world is someone's health being a topic right now when you're when you're talking about going to a church so here's some more screenshots right what okay so y'all take a look at that and just read it real quick i'm gonna uh, mute my mic in a second but um it says that people in churches this is talking about different churches in atlanta right now they have to sign a waiver they have to get temperature checks and they have to show proof of vaccination to enter the church any pastor i want uh any bishop any deacon i want any evangelist any missionary to show me in the bible where jesus asked for a vaccination slip before he healed them i want somebody to tell me when the disciples went up to the people and were like hey do you have a certificate of vaccination before we pray for you or cast out this uh this unhealthy demon because i you know with the temperature checks that was happening all 2020 everywhere so it was like you know it was understandable people just take a precaution but now people wow i you i'm listen I have really good Wi-Fi. There's no reason for my connection to be messing up. So Instagram does not like this topic. All right, then. Let's continue, though. So, uh, did Jesus and the disciples have people sign waivers before they healed them? Did the woman with the issue of blood be like, hey, let me sign this waiver, and then I'm going to touch the hem of his garment? Or, Or did Lazarus, did Lazarus, while he was dead did he sign a waiver or did his sister martha sign a waiver before uh the disciples and yeshua healed him brought him back to life leave that alone leave it alone leave it alone 
I'm trying to understand something here. Why are churches requiring people to sign waivers and show proof of vaccination in order to enter a church? Like, did, did they forget the entire point of churches? And let me, let me show y'all which churches it is. Hold on. It's these churches in Atlanta. So if you want to take a screenshot, you can. Just so you know, I'm not tripping. And Atlanta going through some ish right now. The entire state of Georgia is actually just ridiculous at the moment. There's a lot going on in the state of Georgia, in the city, and um, that suburb area of Atlanta. Like, them counties in that area. Y'all, there is so much going on right now. And that is probably the main reason why they were targeted first for, like, publicizing this type of thing. I know there's different churches in California that were getting... Um, fines and stuff were being opened during the pandemic in 2020 and they're actually part of a lawsuit now suing the government for unlawful fines what does that tell you you know i appreciate them because like over there they were fighting to stay open and they were you know getting hit with fees after fees and they were you know doing it so they could stay open but these people are bowing down so hard Somebody explain this to me. Somebody I, somebody who considers themselves to be religious. Somebody who is a diehard Christian. Explain to me why you need certification in order to go into the house of prayer. Why? Aren't you going there so you can be healed? If I'm not mistaken... Weren't hands laid on the sick? You know? All right. So now that y'all have seen what I'm talking about, you know, I, I just really want to understand something. Why is it that the Christian church believes in this book so much, yet they are showing a form of godliness but are denying the power? but lack the power thereof. Every week is a different message, a different scripture, a different passage that is, I, get, I don't know. I don't know what they call it at this point. You have different songs you sing. You have worship and all of this stuff, but no miracles are happening, which is the entire point. The entire point of this organization let's get away from the r word the religion word this organization was built to help people yet you have people who are collecting money every week but are not helping the sheep of the flock and now we're at the point where these people are acting like shadrach meshach and abednego did not sit in the furnace without getting burnt they're acting like Daniel did not sit in the lion's den without getting eaten by a lion. Do you know how many of us are ready for fire? Do you know how many of us are ready to face wild animals because they want to kill us? We're ready for it because we know nothing's going to happen to us. Yet these churches are so scared of getting shut down or they're losing their tax-free exemptions that they're allowing the government to control the movement of God. Now, now, I almost got upset with my family the other day because I brought this up and they were saying stuff that I just, you know, it was irritating because I'm like, you're not going to tell me that the government is going to come between spirituality and the person. You cannot tell me that the government is going to come between someone's spirituality and that person, even though I'm not religious, you know, I don't really go to church anymore. If a person is finding their spirituality through going through religion, then that's their right to do that. And so what does the government have to do with that? I had already showed y'all a little while ago that YouTube said they were going to remove videos of you saying you were going to pray if you um, were sick with the iris. If you were sick with the 19, YouTube will remove your video if you're talking about praying for that particular situation. princess make diary i'm so sorry I, I hope i said that almost correctly peace god as you speak in straight facts i appreciate that i appreciate it and it man because like the thing is 
you know, a lot of us, we're not religious. We're not really going to church anymore. And if we do, we're just going for the people. And we're, it's like a family, church family. We're not really going for the message a lot of times because you either read Macada. I know you told me that a while ago. I'm so sorry. Macada Wire. Okay. Um, there you go. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I read the Bible on my own. I don't have to go to church to get the word because I can read. And that's what a lot of our people fail to realize. A lot of us fail to realize the fact that we can read on our own. We don't need to go to a place to read a book. Uh, keeping up with Jade. I never really been religious. I mean, it's awesome to not be religious because like really religion was here to separate people from the true essence of God. Religion is based around whatever cult leader you're following, whether it be a pastor and a, a fake apostle because apostles and prophets are real. They're real um okay appreciate it um apostles and prophets are real and here's the thing when you talk about apostles and prophets they're supposed to be a five-fold ministry in the church apostles and prophets are supposed to be right up there with the pastor why are there no apostles and prophets in these churches correcting and edifying these pastors before they say things how come how come people in the in the congregation they can yell stuff like shando or shabadabadabada and the prophet can't call them out on their BS tongues? Because that's a thing. You are allowed, as a prophet, you are allowed to call somebody out on BS tongues because they're obstructing the ministry. They're causing a distraction, and that is demonic if we're going to use those terms. That is evil. If you are causing people to be distracted for getting it and getting attention to yourself for a fake move of God or the Holy Spirit, that is demonic, and that's a strike. That's a sin. You're not supposed to do that. And prophets are supposed to be in the congregation to call people out. Uh, keeping up with Jay said, um, my children don't even know about a Jesus. <laughs> like that. And okay, speaking of Jesus, right? Jesus is not his name. I, I cannot get this through people's heads enough. The vibration of the name Jesus is wicked. In the quote-unquote King James Bible, of course, it tells you that the name of Jesus Christ has dominion over this and that. But the thing is, the only reason it does is because people gave it that vibration through reading the word, through saying it out loud, and through praying that affirmation. But when people are in trouble, when people are scared, when people are in a negative vibration, what do they say? They be calling on Jesus. They be calling on Jesus. So his name has such a negative connotation right now. And that's not even him. His name is Yeshua, Emmanuel, Yahawashai. So that's first of all. The letter J didn't exist 300 years ago. It's all new. It's all new. The vibration of Jesus is so negative. But people still use it. And the thing is like right now we're in the dispensation of grace. Meaning that our ignorance is being excused at the moment. Our sins are being forgiven at the moment because all this is so corrupt. And so if you're at a church and you can't, there's a lizard. <laughs> if you're at a church and your pastor can't even get you to the point where he can deliver messages like that, explaining to you that Jesus was not his original name. Mary was not her original name. Joseph was not his original name. Um, Peter was not his original name. Those are white people names, European based names. Them people was in Africa, all types of areas in Africa. We talk about Egypt, we talk about Jerusalem, we talking about Damascus. Them folks ain't know nothing about no Peter. Them folks ain't know nothing about Peter. And if you read your Bible, you'll recognize that a lot of people in the Old Testament, they have some, man, if you go in the Old Testament, them folks have some African sounding names. Did y'all know that Elon is in the Bible? Elon Musk has a biblical name, but no one knows that because he's African. He's from South Africa. That Nick, <laughs> like his dad is South African. His mom is Canadian. And he has a name from the Bible, bro. Yet, we got folks walking around with like Joel, Peter, Samuel, thinking that they have biblical names when they don't. Reese the Reaper says, peace reflection, peace, peace. Man, okay, so um, that was the main thing that I wanted to say. I really had to get that off of my chest. So the next thing I'm gonna talk about is uh, this Jesus saved me from new age construct understand something if you think that jesus saved you from the new age movement 
that means that you were doing it for attention and not for true spirituality. You were probably upset with religion, which you have every right to be because it makes sense to be upset with religion. But you were going into things because I, I know exactly what you mean. But your understanding of it saying that it's demonic is incorrect. So you're further misleading people when you say that Jesus saved you from new age. Listen. If you believe in the most high in the way that I believe in the most high, if you believe that source gives you the connection that you have to everything in this universe, you were not saved from the new age movement. We are the new age movement. So even though your intent with that video is doing a certain thing, you're still actually helping the new age movement simply by saying something about it because understand something go back to exodus and leviticus okay you got crystals you got angels and aliens okay you got sacrifices you got saging and incense and burning things for sacrifices and rituals the most high himself gave specific instructions to the israelites to build their tabernacles and other structures with crystals you got topaz you got amethyst you got all of them they use so much gold they're all minerals it has nothing to do with demonic forces if it was demonic god would not have created it like marijuana how is marijuana demonic it is a plant if you can't handle it that is part of your construct as an individual and that is something that your spirit is not supposed to partake in like me myself i'm not supposed to mess with sage but am i going to knock somebody else for using sage and call them demonic no i'm not because i know that's just that's just not part of my calling or it was part of my life for a period of time and it's no longer part of my life it's no longer part of my journey but if i see somebody else using it and they're being successful at it and it's causing good things to happen then all power to them because God is allowing them to be able to use that. Or maybe my intent was just wrong when I was using Sage. So maybe I have to go through some more, um, some more time, some more experience before I can get to that level. We don't know that 100% sure, 100% sure. But at the same time, it's not demonic that someone was to use that. And it's not new age either. This everything's old nothing's new here nothing is new they call jesus a new ager princess macada Dwy macada wire says uh i shared the live goat you <laughs> i shared the live goat you got it because you dropping them gems the real devil's lettuce is money but we'll get to we'll get into that in a second because not the goat. oh okay i shared the live because you cut <laughs> i'm struggling i'm struggling huh why did you do that you know what fine go ahead go ahead um let me see monk dna says yes goddess yeah i appreciate y'all i do i really do so um ellen nick nickens 369 says the real devil's lettuce is money okay now that is a very good point so y'all know that scripture where it says the root of all evil is money well, that's not true. It's the love of money is the root of all evil. And then the craziest thing is people stop there. When I read the Bible for myself, which everyone needs to do, you need to research for yourself. There is a semicolon in that scripture. There is a semicolon. There is no period and there is no going to the next scripture. There is a semicolon. And it says specifically because I don't remember what it says verbatim, but it basically says because people will replace their relationship with God with money is to prevent idolatry and it's so easy for people to replace god with money because we're always chasing the bag because we want stuff we want to enjoy this experience here so it's very easy to make money our god instead of source itself um ellen says pronunciation skills on point <laughs> thank you goddess thank you um and so yeah i i love that point that you made Nora Anu says, be in the world, not of it. Facts. Uh, Ellen says capitalism. And people don't even understand capitalism either. Of course, like the way that capitalism is set up in our society right now is crooked capitalism. It's corrupt capitalism. There is no reason that a person 
should go out into a workplace and have to risk either being laughed at or their resume being thrown in the trash because of their skin color. So you're telling me I can't get a job because you don't like the way I look? Even though I'm more qualified than everybody else? But they look like you, so you're going to hire them instead of me. All right, then. Then there's no reason for someone to um, have to try to buy a resource. And they cannot afford it if it's a needed resource. Why are things so expensive? Why is everything so expensive? Why can't things just be market value and fair? Because I'm y'all who've been following me for a minute, y'all know me. I'm about kingdom entrepreneurship. So making a lot of money is something that I'm very much for. But I'm also against people being charged out the ass for no reason. That makes no sense. That makes no logical sense. Like, why should someone get charged for... I, I'm not going to give an example, but basically, y'all know, y'all get what I'm saying. As far as like things, very regular things being so expensive for no reason, just because somebody wanted it to be that way. Um, not because we in the physical means we got to think on the physical level. Girl, that's facts. Like that, that's like, man, that, that esoteric thinking. Okay, so let's get back to the other topic, though. Jesus saved me from new age. You have to be real with yourself. A watermelon, $5.50. Man... I'm finna grow my own watermelons again. I tried before, it didn't work, but I'm, I'm gonna do that again. Because this is the reason why food should not be expensive. We can do it on our on our own, okay? But, well, I'm gonna actually show y'all what happened over there. Um, You have to recognize in yourself what God has for you. You have to recognize in yourself what does God have for me? What is my purpose? You know, what is my spiritual practice? Some people might use Palo Santo for cleansing and spirituality. I use it for science. I use it for repelling insects. Some people use crystals for magic purposes. I use it for science. I use it to decrease radiation in my area because of all the technology that we have in our houses. What is it for you? You can't just sit around the cost of demonic all day if it's not being used for demonic purposes. That's like saying that pencils are evil because somebody stabbed you in the hand with a pencil when you were in kindergarten. When the pencil was created for you to write with, which is a good thing. That person was just evil. They did an evil action. That has nothing to do with the pencil. It's just in that situation, the vibration of the pencil was evil. And so uh, that was my message to religious people and uh, for people who are misunderstanding the new age situation. Because, listen, we're at a point right now where it really don't matter if you're part of the occult or if you're spiritual, like they have way more intuition than re religious people do, because religious people are in such a box, in such a construct where they can't even see what's happening right now. So if you're going to down somebody who's part of the occult just because you disagree with it, but they're on point day after day after day, prophecy after prophecy, like, come on now, come on now. You can't just be against them just because you don't like how they do certain things when they have the spirit on them. Uh, exactly it's all about perception and intent um john insight 999 says religious people don't want to expand their knowledge the problem that i have with religious people is they have all the knowledge the bible has so much information it has so much information and if religious people were to just actually read the book that they say that they believe in i'm talking about christians i don't know much about hindu and buddhist people but religious christians if they were to just take it upon themselves to read for themselves they wouldn't go to church anymore because that's what happened to me and that's my whole issue i'm like how are you religious and you say you believe in this god and you love him but you don't read the simple instructions that he gave you you don't even have to follow all the commandments i'm being real you don't even have to follow all the commandments for god to show you things you could be a straight up sinner and the more you read the Bible, the more you grow your, your relationship with God, the more you will be convicted in yourself, not condemned, but more like a self-conviction where it's like, 
oh, okay, well, I don't want to do this anymore because I want to, you know, have a healthier spiritual life and I want to have a better relationship with God. So I'm going to take it upon myself uh, to fast, to, you know, pray or to meditate, to read these scriptures, to get it into my essence of me being a better person. And if that includes one of the commandments, then sure. But otherwise, because, you know, there's uh, 614. There's more than um 10. But regardless of any of that, though, it doesn't, I mean, it really doesn't take much. All you do is read. But people have this weird, like, blockage from reading. People who got out of religion, they read tons of books. Like, books on ancient Kemet, books on, like, you know, Egyptian stuff, books on ancient African religions, um, books on different spirituality. People who get out of religion read. And if people who were in religion just read, a lot of their problems would go away. Like, it's crazy. Um... They are closed minded. Yeah. Um, Neuro nine says the Bible is like a stronghold for brainwashing against the Anunnaki. Uh, Khalid three K cosmic says they are, they afraid to let go of what they believe is true, which will force them to relearn themselves and this world. Now, Neuro nine. The thing is, I disagree with that because honestly, I believe that the Israelites are the Anunnaki in physical form because I, I just don't think, I believe that the Anunnaki souls dwell inside of us. The thing is, angels don't have a physical form. Gods don't have a physical form. So they kind of have to like dwell within a vessel. But I could be incorrect about that. Um, because like the reason I say that though is because the Israelites are always, we, we are, in the tribe of Judah at least, the Native Americans, the Hispanics, and um, black people who were part of the Atlantic slave trade and the Anunnaki are also those individuals, people with carbon in their skin, people who are neuromelanated. And so um, that's my philosophy though. I'll get into that like another day. I don't want to like argue or anything, but regardless though, it's, it seems that way because of religion. The Bible itself really is like, I read it every day. It's proving more and more and more that the Anunnaki are not only here, but they are the rightful owners of this planet. And so religion will definitely talk against that though. Religion will tell you that aliens are evil. Aliens aren't evil. That's like saying that a spirit is evil. It's like, is it a demon or an angel? And what's their intent at the point at that point? Because like angels kill people. I thought angels killed people, didn't they? I'm pretty sure angels kill people. That's not bubbles. You put water in there. You got to wait a few minutes, okay? Um, But yeah, that's like another topic, though. I'm glad you brought that up because I do want to talk about that more as far as like my understanding of the Anunnaki and Israelites. I do recognize myself as Israel simply because of the way that the Bible is written. And we have to go into the Apocrypha as well. Those 66 books that are in the regular King James Bible are like, bro, it covers a lot. But there's so much in the removed books that the Catholics have. The Catholics have the other books in the Apocrypha. But they took it out of the American Bible because for whatever reason. And that also includes the book of Enoch, which explains the downfall of angels. Um, Princess Macrida says, we got to do that anyway. We all got to retrain our whole thought process or mindset. Bro, every day I'm learning something else is a lie. Every day I'm like bruh y'all y'all <laughs> y'all lied about this too <laughs> yeah i can't i can't be surprised because it's like they lied about like the way the world is shaped they lied about the moon they lied about the sun they lied about the planets they lied they lied about everything i grew up learning that pluto was a planet now all of a sudden pluto's not a planet anymore fuck out of here Fuck out of here, bro. What do you mean Pluto's not a planet? <laughs> Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. You be 313. Bitch, you not gonna tell me Pluto's not a planet. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't. Oh, wanna so that which is why they are vibrating the way they are okay i didn't see my pluto was a planet my my son said pluto was a planet y'all know how my son is he's four and he speaks like a 88 year old man he said pluto's a planet so i believe him um 
<laughs> Big Gucci said every day. <laughs> v Marie three o three says for real. God, is. <laughs> bro, I be I be pissed every day. Oh, facts. I felt that. Uh, <laughs> bro, every day. Oh, they don't want to. They don't want to think outside the box. Here's the thing. Who created the box? I was talking to my friend like a few weeks ago. He was like, think outside of the box. I was literally like, what box? What box? Like if y'all follow um, Dolo the Pilot Man, get out the water. If y'all follow Dolo the Pilot Man, he talks about the magic square, right? The magic square is literally the magic square that they constructed to keep people from thinking. So there was no square originally. People thought the way that they thought. People believed what they wanted to believe. But then we were given instructions on how to think and how to believe. And so for my people who are part of uh, slavery, right? We, um, I'm being honest. We low-key have an excuse for certain things. We were taken out of our element 100%. Stripped of our spirituality here. Here. Stripped of our spirituality. And I'll talk about the Bible again in a second when it comes to that. Stripped of our spirituality and our language. And then we were prevented from even learning how to read and speak their language in order for us to know certain things so once we started getting that understanding they gave us certain areas of the bible to read and so um areas they gave us were in the old testament right talk about slavery and how they talk about slavery be good to your master and all that stuff the bible never says strip somebody of their heritage the bible never said rape people the bible never said do anything like that to slaves all the bible said was like hey if you conquer these people and you take them as slaves like you know just you know Okay, leave the chair alone. Let them go after seven years. That's what the Bible says. That's what the Bible says. It says, let them go after seven years. Not keep them for 400 freaking years. That's... And then, not only were people illiterate back then, but people, our people are still illiterate now. A lot of our people still can't read. So all they have is going to church to hear the Bible. All they have is somebody else telling them everything because they can't read. Now... Do I believe that people should learn how to read in this day and age? Yeah, duh. I believe that everybody should learn how to read. But some people are at that point so deep mentally that they can't even bring themselves to the point of reading, learning how to read because they feel so ashamed and they'd rather live with that shame than try to change themselves and make a fool out of themselves for trying to learn. Um, Oh, shit. I was just listening to him before you brought no love. He was going. He was going off for Chris Rock earlier. Bro, I was crying. I was crying. <laughs> he was going off on Chris Rock, bro. I was like, Dolo, don't do that man like that. But he has every right to because Chris Rock know he wrong. He know he wrong. Um, That's deep. I resonate with that. I'm glad you do. Glad you do. Uh, what's good, fam? Um, Miss Raw Blue for show i think that's what this is for show so what's up um uh ellen that's hella years i mean it's a lot of years versus 400 and generations of people that's not even a decade versus it's been a listen it's been almost 60 years or if it hasn't been 60 years already since the civil rights act has been signed into law and we still like george floyd happened last year bro come on now they they ridiculous out here they couldn't do seven they had to do hundreds of years and generations and then pretend that slavery isn't happening today um i heard that oh okay well hold on hold on right because they can't think on their own right i heard that one yo uh what's his i name on ig y'all are talking about a dolo the pilot man so is let me type it dolo the pilot oops <laughs> man i hope i spelled that right uh but you could like type it in or type in like flight boss you know something like that uh it'll pop up i was cracking up and yes <laughs> that's how you say it bro i was tripping i was tripping okay so going back to the bible and our original spirituality right People love to say that the Bible is a white man's book. The King James Bible is written by a white man. The thing is, it was translated from other languages. So uh, a lot of the Hebrew Israelites, we understand Hebrew. We speak Hebrew like different things are Shalom, Shalom, Tawada, um, Khan, Ak, Akwath, 
Akiyam, you know, just like the basics of greeting people and, you know, stuff like that. And so translated from Hebrew, um, translated from other languages, like not everybody was in the same country and city when Yeshua was doing his rounds and stuff and ministry and stuff. So different people had different translations, different scribes were of different cultures. So it was compiled of different languages. And so when we have now the today's Bible, it it was written translated by a white man but it's not the white man's religion it's us it's talking about the rulers of the universe who hey dad okay okay so it's talking about us the whole time they tricked us into thinking that it's talking about white people that white people were the greatest and like white supremacy is a thing that's how they manipulated our thinking into you know using the bible to boost that belief and they're still doing it today except for those of us who understand that like oh it's talking about us it's not talking about white people and jewish people why do you think jewish people are so evil like i mean they own everything at least in america the top you know when um Dolo the pilot man and Rashad Jamal and like a few others I think who who talked about this not many people talk about this but the main 13 families um they run the world <clears throat> they found the secrets of everything long ago long ago in their bloodlines and they control everything they control the banks that's why like a lot of Jewish people are lawyers bankers um yeah. asset managers investors like high up investors like I, like my dad got a property right now and we like we you know we be investing but like they own like cities states okay like they're investors okay and so um when it comes to that point though their their lie is running out they can't lie anymore because we are educating ourselves and we're waking up other people as well and so um that's why it's like you know the bible is the white man's book or christianity is white christianity is the white man's religion but the bible is not the white man's book okay it's just it was translated by a white man with um a lot of inconsistencies and a lot of mistranslations which is why we have to get back to reading the apocrypha the hebrew edition of the bible and like learning about our history and truth instead of you know this construct of a lie but i appreciate you guys so much um nora anu says instructions Instru instructions for what i don't know uh here and there instructions here and there i'm i'm lost i don't know what that means um hey yay up says thank you goddess you're welcome like i i love talking about this and this is very passionate for me um there's there's just a lot going on you guys already know the great awakening happened last year it's it's still like happening but it happened last year instructions here i mean i understand the acronym of bible to be basic instructions before leaving earth so if, if that's what you mean then yeah i, I agree basic instructions because i mean everything I'm, before i end this i'm gonna just let y'all know the old testament has a lot of gems in it people love to talk about we're only we're in the new testament so that doesn't matter it's not true we wonder why obesity is such a problem especially in our country god literally gave us a list of food to eat the thing is we're eating things that are toxic to our bodies that help us to gain weight versus stay fit and be healthy when we literally have a list of foods to eat and foods to avoid okay like it's man there's so many gyms i, I man i want to talk i want to actually i do have to make another video on this because i read the torah the other day i finished reading the torah the other day i have now read the new testament in full and the torah and the torah is uh genesis exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy those are the five books of the bible in the very beginning and that is what the jewish people can uh that's what they study when they go to what do they call it it's not mosque is, is it temple they go when they go to temple on fridays that's their bible that's what they read and so i finished that and i got to make a video on that and let y'all know 202 ray cash says peace goddess i value and appreciate you goddess thank you so much thank you god um keep following your intuitive mind i, I sure will i will uh of course goddess we appreciate you too thank you so much uh reese the reaper says can you make a video on foods i will t Tio Nunaki says, talk your talk, goddess. I'm all ears. Man, I appreciate you. I'm finna wrap this up, though. So if you want to catch the replay, then go ahead. Before I leave, though, I'm going to show you guys what happened. So this is my garden. I'm going to make some more videos on food. Um, but yes, you guys, get started doing this. I uh, went to one of the um, one of my spiritual brothers and sisters' houses the other day, like a week or two ago. 
and we planted them a garden in their backyard. Everybody in Memphis, check my story. We are meeting up this weekend. So I need all of y'all to like check my story out. Let me know if you can make it so we can do more of stuff like this and getting other things ready for our community, okay? But you guys, this fell, this, this limb fell from this tree today. My son moved it and it was over here where the smaller branches, um, it was like covering right here, but it is, over here now and it just fell i didn't hear anything we haven't had any strong rain in the past day no strong winds none of that it just fell so i have no idea what that means besides it just being dead but i think it means more than that because this has been dangling for years like this piece right here this has been dangling for years whereas i can see yeah, it where this this end, end right here oh what's up 400 um tavy Okay, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's like right there. That's where it fell from. That hasn't been like troubling or anything for years, but that little piece has. So how come that one fell, but not this one? A tree fell on my mom's food truck last month. Yo, what is going on? <laughs> what is going on, you guys? Hold up, that's not looking good. Hold up. Okay, let me go. Let me go because I'm going to get messed up. Uh, Shalom, Raider Corns. I'll see y'all in the next one. And uh, for all the reflections in the University of Cosmic Intelligence, y'all check my story out in case you missed the live yesterday. There's a lot of information going down uh, for Rashad's case. We're literally fighting against the state of Georgia right now, you guys. So, you know, keep your vibrations high. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Shalom, Tawara.